workers are saying the Yale shuttle is a doggone nuisance. That's because they say their dogs bark when they see that large cutout of handsome Dan on the side. News 8 Stephanie Simone caught up with Sawyer and his owner. To Yale students, he's the mascot. But to Sawyer, handsome Dan is king of the canines. He really lives for this moment. I mean, he comes off my front porch, he looks for him. Handsome Dan is who he lives to see. Several New Haven neighbors complained about this on the city's website, See Click Fix. Gatsby does not bark at Dan, but Eric Farrington says his previous dog did. Anytime the Yale shuttle would come by, she would just stop and she would let a nice little, she would basically growl. So why does Sawyer have this reaction? Well, we went to some dog trainers to get the answer. They can see an outline of the dog, but they don't see all the fine details. Bark Busters Vicki Horowitz says dog's vision is 80-20. She gave me glasses covered in Vaseline to understand. What can you see? It almost looks like a stuffed animal. Right. So that's why when dogs see the very large cutout of handsome Dan on the shuttle, some react like this. <laughs> There is something dog owners can do besides buying a tight leash. Trainers recommend tiring them out mentally before going for the walk. Give them some commands to do, have them sit, have them come, have them stay. Really work them a lot before going out for a walk. Marseille says that won't work for them. I can walk downtown and back. I can do an hour walk. And we at the end of the walk can see Dan and I have to hold on with every, yeah, every bit of strength I have. Her plan is to avoid the scenario altogether. I have to, uh, you know, plan my whole walks to avoid handsome Dan. I'll like duck into driveways and I do all kinds of antics to get away from the bus. Anything to keep Sawyer happy and quiet. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.